people always ask me, how are you bringing Zoom into Ecamm for your live shows? And up until now, I've always had the answer of NDI, Network Device Interface. But in Ecamm's latest beta release, they've released a feature that makes NDI no longer necessary. We're gonna take a look at that and a few other features in today's video. So let's figure out how it all works. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, we show you how to use live streaming to grow and engage an audience, to funnel clients to your business, and to establish yourself as a thought leader. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at my top four features of Ecamm's latest beta release. Stay with us until the end, where I'll share with you how these features will benefit your live video journey. The first feature is profiles. Ecamm has added profiles to the system. So right up at the top of your screen, uh, you have your menu across the top of your Mac, edit, scene, source, cam, all that stuff is there but one of them is now profiles. And um, in your Ecamm setup, I'm gonna show you my screen now. And you see that I have my camera effects, I have my program window, my preview window. I've got a bunch of things on the screen right now. And you, but, but the main thing I want you to focus in on is the overlays and the scenes window. All of these are dependent on what I'm doing at that time. And of course, your, your scenes window can get really pretty full. But what you'll notice in my scenes window is that it says default show. Default show is the profile that I'm currently using for my recording. But when I go up to profile, I can actually select that change to let's say a client profile where I have all the clients assets loaded up I have the clients overlays the clients music the clients sound effects all of that stuff so especially for remote producers especially for people who have multiple shows if you, even if you self-produce this is something that's a game changer this is something that's absolutely incredible that they've added for us the second feature my number two feature is the one that I spoke about in the lead-in this is the screen share overlay. Let's take a look. So here we are on my desktop and I have switched things around so that you can see me in this box over here, but my main preview window is blank. And the thing that I wanna show you is down here in the bottom of your overlays window, you have a new feature called screen share overlay. And it looks like a computer with a plus sign of it on, on it. And if you hover your mouse, it says new screen share overlay. When I click that, I can actually show my entire screen. I can size it the way I want to size it. Um, and of course, if I have zoom on this screen, then I would be able to show zoom inside of a scene. Um, I can hit the, and the, the pencil on the screen share overlay. <clears throat> I can set what the corners look like. And actually that's the third thing that we want to talk about in today's video is that you have shapes and corners for your camera overlay. And so here you have aspect wide, classic square round squircle, which is the new one and then tall. So if I go to squircle, you'll see that it changes it into uh, uh, basically a circle slash square. That's why they called it squircle. And so you have that there. Of course, you wouldn't use this for your screen share overlay. So I can select which uh, application I want to use for the screen share overlay. <clears throat> of course, I'll put it back to the wide one. Um, and then I can change the corners again to just be square because for screen share overlay, this is what I'd want it to do. Um, another question that people often ask, and I'm going to give this as a bonus right now, is how do you bring in your comments? So I can actually go here to Ecamm Live Beta and select comments, right? <clears throat> comments and reactions is the second one down here. And then just have it set to uh, tall, set it to tall and look. I just have my comments now. I can put this anywhere on screen. So again, a lot of different ways that this can be used, and we'll give you some, uh, some of those practical applications for it in the wrap-up. 
Our final feature in this beta release from Ecamm that is my favorite is the fact that you can now chat with your person that's in interview mode. Uh, in other platforms call it private chat that has now been brought here to Ecamm. Now, I want to say that they have completely overhauled the interview mode feature, and there's a number of things that have changed there, but the thing that I like, right, my top four, number four is the private chat, the interview chat that they've now added to interview mode. Let's take a look. So I'm showing you my desktop again, and we are in live demo mode. And you'll see in the corner, I've got my interview mode here, and my wife is actually in interview mode with us. Uh, I'm just going to wave to her. <laughs> All right, cool. So she's there, and uh, one of the things that you'll notice at the bottom of the interview mode window is this little chat icon. And when I click that, a whole new window comes up. This is interview chat. Notice that it is totally separate from comments and reactions. And on the interviewee side, so on Kanique's side, on my wife's side, she has the ability to see interview, um, see comments and reactions from the live stream. But she also has another tab that says interview chat. What I also like about this feature is that she can favorite comments in the chat for us, me and her, both of the people who are on the stream to be able to respond to later in the show. So that's really pretty kind of cool as well. But right now I'm just gonna type to her. And, and I'm just gonna see if, you know, if she can respond and if she responds, hey, that's the feature. Yes, she can. So those are my top four features of Ecamm's latest beta release. If you can't tell, I am super, super, super excited about these features because these are things that I am using regularly. I uh, absolutely love this platform, Ecamm. But I want to pose this question to you. If you're watching, go ahead and let me know in the comments, what streaming platform do you use? Uh, do you use Restream? Do you use StreamYard? Do you use BeLive or Lightstream? Or do you use Ecamm Live, which is what I'm using right now? Talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you use. I want to I want to share with you some of the benefits that these this new functionality that Ecamm has added uh, is going to give us their users. Right. Number one for the profiles, of course, for anybody that's in remote production like I am, you are going to need to organize your stuff. I've got a little OCD. So the remote production piece is just absolutely amazing for me. Uh, but then, of course, if you have multiple shows, sometimes you don't want to use the same music for the different shows and your folders and stuff can get really complicated and long. So being able to shift those to other profiles, is going to be so great. So that's a great feature. The next one, the screen share overlay, again, engagement, 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 being able to bring in folks from Zoom, uh, being able to bring in folks, uh, bring in your screen to be able to share and, and show people what you're doing. Um, the entire video that I'm, I'm sharing with you today was me showing you my screen. And uh, most of my videos are that way. So the screen share overlay is a game changer. The fact that they're bringing that to us without the need for NDI is just amazing. And I absolutely love it. And again, that extra tip there where you can bring in comments. So good. So really good. And then, you know, the camera overlays and shapes. This is something that I've been trying to uh, mimic with my design. So I'll create the overlay with the rounded circles. Well, now your camera overlays in the system have that feature built in. You can round them, you can square them. In fact, you can pick one corner or the other and decide whether you want to make it round or square. So that's pretty cool. And again, another design element that they're adding for us. But this last one, the interview chat, the ability to be able to speak with your guest privately just to type a message to them is so amazing. I am excited that that is a, an addition. This is a feature that we've had in several other platforms, and I'm glad that Ecamm has added that for us here because Ecamm is one of my main ones. So being able to talk with them and for them to be able to now uh, favorite comments and then allow those comments to be added to my favorite list as the host, 
that's amazing. And that's why I'm really excited about these. Again, I want you to talk to me in the comments about which one is going to be your favorite feature of Ecamm. I've placed in the description below the link to get the beta version if you don't have it. Um, again, just keep in mind it is beta, but it will be going to full release pretty soon. Last thing I want to share with you before we go is that, man, just like I said earlier in the video about remote production, um, some of the things that I do, why I'm excited about these updates is because I am producing events for clients all the time. In next week's video, we're going to be talking to clients who we have done remote productions for. We want to want you to hear from them. We want you to hear the practice of actually bringing in a producer for your live shows, for your live events, for your virtual conferences. Um, we want you to hear from them in their own words. And I think you're going to really enjoy that video. So if you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe so that you can be notified when that next video goes live. As always, it's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere today we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. And we'll see you in the next video.